Okay. May, fix your hat the way you had it. This is the way I had it. <laughs> I don't know how I had it. I didn't see it, Dad. May got out. We had to go pick up my truck from the Toyota place. <laughs> and she was walking around with her hat like that. So we got back in the truck and I said, May, did you realize your hat? Or I said, why are you wearing your hat like that? She's like, like what? I just put it on. Just put my hair in it. Looks bad. I was like, I don't know what my hat. I just threw it on. I didn't look in the mirror. I, I just like tucked it my like hair. that. You're bullying me. Like I'm that. calling the police. I like that. Are you a crip or a blood? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> This feels like a trick question. Do you know which one goes to the right and which one goes to the left? Do I look? No, Dad. You need to look that up because if you're going to be wearing your hat, false claiming. You know what false claiming is? I would assume it's wearing the paraphernalia of a certain gang. Wearing not, the paraphernalia yeah, of yeah. a certain gang. When you're not a part of it. When you are not a part of it. That's very good. Am I correct? That may be the actual dictionary definition. <laughs> A false claiming. May got a job. Mm-hmm. I sure did. And why did you get a job, May? So I can make money. Why do you need money? So I can have money. I don't because you were tired and I need money. I don't What do you buy what do you buy with your money? Food. Food. She fell down the steps. I sure did. On the first day of the job. The first day. I was walking out a walk-in freezer, which has like a couple steps, just like two or three, and I fell right on my butt. And I scratched my leg on something. I'm not sure what yet. We haven't figured it out. Um, but she's okay now. I'm fine. She's okay. Because, like, I don't want to work at school, like, on school nights, and then get to school and be all, like, tired. Yeah, you don't want to be tired at school. But she sleeps all day. What are you going to do when school starts back, when you have to, like, get up in the morning? I'm going to go to school. You're going to go to school. Okay. We'll see what happens I'm when school out. starts back. I'm gonna drop out. I don't think you're gonna I'm drop not gonna out. drop out. I can graduate. I have, all, I have all the credits I need to graduate. She's got all the credits she needs to graduate. I used to work at a restaurant. Did you really? Yeah, it's very nice. Where'd you work? I worked at Long John Silver's. It was nice. I knew about that one. And I worked at a place called Sam the Chicken Man <laughs> in Athens when I was in college. And nice. I, fried chicken and then I worked and then they changed the name of Sam the chicken man to uh, Freshly's it's a much better name and I worked there until I got fired Ooh. actually I didn't get fired I quit why well the manager uh, came in and he was mad at me because uh, the phone was off the hook because we had delivery service and we only had one delivery guy and he was taking three, he was going to be gone for an hour and a half. So he got mad at me and told me to close the restaurant down and clean, and clean it up. Well, I told him he could clean it up. I went home. I was taking this girl's order. And she was standing there at the counter. And she wanted to get like a two-piece chicken thing. And she wanted white meat chicken. Or she wanted two breasts. That's what it was. And I was like, well, we can't, you know, we can't do that unless we charge you extra or whatever, you know. So we were sitting there talking about it, and this roach ran right between me and her on the counter. <laughs> the goat roach. Oh, no! Right between us. And she goes, I think I'll be getting two chicken breasts, and uh, I won't be reporting you to the roach police. The roach police? <laughs> uh, there was actually a, a bar next door. And the guy that was the owner, one of the owners, there were like two or three guys that were the owners. Come and on. one of the guys that was the owner would uh, go over there and get drunk and he'd come over to the store and take money right out of the register to go back to drink more. Oh, oh. The steps in the front. Yeah, she like fell that. down those steps. I too. sure did. First week of school, I'm a freshman year. Yeah. There's big, these big steep stairs. Like, I think now they'd be out of code because the, the treads are so thin. But these big concrete stairs, and I'm walking down the stairs, going to class. I'm going to chorus. And I fell right down them. Fell down the steps. I sure did. Fell shins first. Right in front of everybody. If you teach middle school, Oof. 
or you're an administrator in middle school, there's going to be times where kids are going to fall out of their desk on the floor. Uh, I don't know why they do that, or but every year it's been going on. As long as I can remember, kids will fall out of their chair. And then they'll claim it was an accident, and but they just, uh, it's just a middle school thing, fall out of the chair. And so I was talking to two kids one time, and they had both fallen out of the desk in the same class. And uh, they were trying to explain to me how it was an accident, and I was like, well, no, that's not an accident. And they were like, well, how do you know it wasn't an accident? And I said, well, I said, I'm 50 years old. Uh, I said, so I've been sitting in chairs, uh, let's say 48 years. You're doing a great job. Uh, and I really can't remember the last time I fell out of a chair. Back, what do you mean? She I mean, she was running back to like the end of the line and I punched her in the stomach. So she started crying. Wow. Yeah. And we were walking and she's making like, a statement. Oh, yeah. She, she was not going to do it again. But she didn't do it again. So she, the substitute was like, you guys need to go to the office. Uh -oh. And I was talking in the hallway. I was like, look, we both hit each other. They will write us up for doing it. Like, we're going to get in trouble for fighting unless we just say it was an accident. And she was like, fine. So we just both said it was an accident. The principal was looking at us like, I kind of so doubt. So you accidentally hit her and she accidentally hit you. Yeah, that's like, the principal was like, I kind of doubt that's an accident, but you both yeah. seem chill with it, so whatever. And neither of us got in trouble. And then I didn't call you guys. Whatever. But I did punch this girl this time and she cried. Who was that assistant principal? It was, I think it was Miss Dodge. Okay, I'll give her a call. I don't know if that's her actual name. You think? It's not. I think it's Miss Dodge. Anyway. Um, so I punched that girl this time. How do you know she didn't talk to me? Did she? Did you already know the story? Did she talk to me? Dad! Did I you? don't know if she talked to me or not. It was like 13, no, 14 years ago. So we're almost home. We talked about alligators. Spooky. We talked about kangaroos. The emu war. Emus. The emu war. In Australia during the 30s. In Australia during the 30s where they were trying to eradicate the emu. Well, and I pointed out to me that here in America, we don't have the emu problem. So, uh, America, we eradicated the emu. Yep, that's what happened. No emu problem here. Emu. That's the sound the emus make. Uh, I told the girls that when they were little. Actually, he did. That that was an emu sound. Emu. I like it. It's really good. Emu. If anybody knows what an emu sounds like. I don't think they make that much noise. Uh, probably sounds just like that. Well, let's just go ahead and say that's what an emu sounds okay. like. Okay. That sounds about right. Emu. Check the Discovery Channel. Emu. 